Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about how to make a million dollars on one single detail. Actually not, because who in all of detailing history has ever done something like that, but we are going to be talking about a very simple way to increase the amount of margin that you can bring in in your detailing business so you don't have so many expenses going out eating into the money that you can actually bring home. Now before we do anything, I want to remind you guys, this Thursday I am doing a free live training to teach you guys how to build a detailing business that does at minimum $3,000 per month through maintenance clients alone. It's going to be at 6 p.m. PST, 9 p.m. Eastern. Go register below in the YouTube description box. You'll see a link where you can register for the free live training this Thursday. The spots are filling up very quickly, so it's going to be first come, first served. So I want to make sure you grab your spot before we fill up. Make sure to go do that in the YouTube description box below. Now, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so just a little bit of context as we start. Of course, this is a big old Ford truck, as you can see, and there is a lot of mud covering the entire exterior. This is only an exterior detail. However, this particular truck is very representative of something that probably a lot of you guys see. So I know I've been bending your ear and talking ad nauseum about maintenance clients. I don't want to do that in this video. I want to talk more practically about probably where most of you guys are right now. And probably most of you guys are in a place in your detailing businesses if you've started where you feel like you're spending a little too long on a detail. You feel like you're attracting a lot of dirty vehicles. You're having to spend a lot of time cleaning a lot of kind of grunt work sort of labor. And you're not necessarily seeing the clean, awesome vehicles that basically you build on a maintenance client list. Well, let me explain something. Like I've said before in the detailing world, many times detailers are trying to get every customer they possibly can. They're trying to market to everyone instead of trying to almost create a sense of scarcity and a sense of uh, I want you in their customer. And so I want to talk about some practical things that you can do because you're probably seeing vehicles just like this to basically create a, a big feeling in your customer of I really want to do business with that person. And the first thing is this getting your customer to actually wash their vehicle before they bring it to you. I know, let me explain. This sounds insane. As soon as it comes out of my mouth, some of you guys are thinking, why would my customer pay me to detail it and then me ask them to wash it before they bring it over here? Why would, like, it's essentially they're paying me to do work themselves. What does that even mean? Well, let me explain in a little bit more specificity what I mean by this. In many ways, as you grow your detailing business and you get more and more customers and you end up, of course, building a marketing machine that brings more and more customers, what ends up happening is you actually want to create certain filters that customers or people calling in have to be filtered through in order to filter through who you want to do business with. So of course, this piece of advice obviously assumes that you have a fair amount of customers coming in and I'll get to that in just a second, but let me finish the thought. When you get to that place, one of the most effective things you can do to cut down on your time increase your profitability, minimize the amount of effort and product you're having to put into the detail is actually have the customer run the car through an automated car wash before they get there if the exterior is in a bad condition and you're doing an exterior detail. There's a couple things you're probably thinking. Number one, why would somebody do that? And number two, isn't that bad for the paint? Well, just to answer the second question first, as you're going to see with this truck, there are swirl marks everywhere. It's riddled with minor scratches, with rids, all kinds of stuff. And so we are far past the point of being concerned about the condition of the paint as far as swirl marks go. You'll find that many customers' cars and uh, the customers themselves are far past that point. And this is where I would say you should not put an imposition on your customer that they themselves don't have about their vehicle. For that reason, I have actually had many customers run their car through car washes before they bring it to me, and I word it something like this. Customer A, because you're paying me to be in the details and essentially you're calling me because you know I'm the detail-oriented guy, what's going to end up being a win-win for both you and I is if you actually run that muddy farm truck that you just finished going mudding in this weekend through a an automatic car wash so it knocks off the brunt of that stuff because not only is that going to save me time, it's also going to save you money and allow me to focus 100% of my efforts in the details to make sure you get the best 
best service possible. And what I'm doing is setting up not only a win for me, but also, of course, a win for my customer, like I just described. They're saving money. I'm not charging them for hours spent. And then, of course, for you guys who feel like you're not even charging the customer enough for the time you're putting in, this is going to be an automatic win for you because it's going to recoup that time. In many ways, in the detailing world, you're playing a game of how you can quickly or how you can find different avenues to recoup time. That's in, in, in many ways what your business structure will be designed around. And so having customers actually do the grunt work before the car gets to you is probably the most obvious and immediate pr uh, strategy that you can implement in your business. And some of you might be thinking customers aren't going to do this. That's insane. I can promise you all that is, is your negativity speaking. There are so many things in the detailing world that you would think off first glance, especially when you don't have a lot of experience, you'd think, oh, the customer wouldn't say yes to this. They wouldn't go for this. No one would say yes to this or go for that. I promise you, people are actually looking for a high quality, high end service. And when you can communicate that you are that high quality guy in the way that I just gave you a short example with, they will go for it hook, line and sinker. And it's good that they do because it truly is setting up a win-win. You are not supposed to be doing the grunt work. You are a detailer. Now, like I said in the beginning, this strategy assumes that you have a fair amount of customers coming in because, of course, the reason why detailers are going to say, Luke, I can't do that is because you're not getting enough calls in in the first place. And because of that, you're more desperate and having to say yes to everyone. So your barrier of entry for your customer is very, very low and you're taking basically anyone who will come in. Well, this is where probably the easiest answer to that is, of course, the free live training that I'm hosting tomorrow, this Thursday. Make sure you register your spot below in the YouTube description box, follow that link because the uh, one of the major things we're talking about, not just how to build a $3,000 per month minimum revenue auto detailing business with maintenance clients alone, that's not including any other revenue, but the second major thing we're talking about and more, but the second major thing is going to be how to build an online marketing machine that literally brings customers to you. See, in order for this strategy to work, you need a system in play that will bring customers to you so you can focus on this and not focus on going, spending all your days advertising, trying to find customers. We call this the customer magnet and we talk about it in great detail in the training. So make sure you register your spot. Now, one thing that you can immediately begin to implement is a review strategy, making sure that every single customer that comes through your system gets directed at some point to leave you a Facebook review on your Facebook business page. Obviously, it's far more complex than that, but it still amazes me that detailers don't at least have in some ways any system set up to capture and maximize the, what they can get from their customer. And the primary thing, the primary thing is going to be reviews that compound over time. Once again, there's many moving parts to this, but that is going to be the foundation of something that builds a customer magnet for you online over time. Now, that being said, guys, those are the two primary ways that, that you can increase your margin today by decreasing your input and maximizing maximizing your output. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, the free live training this Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central is going to fill up really quickly, so go below in the YouTube description box and make sure you click that registration link. You put in your email. It'll reserve your spot. It's first come, first served. The seats are filling up very, very quickly. Again, I want to make sure you get in if you want to be a part of that. This is actually something we've been working on all year long and are now finally ready to release. It's going to be a total total game changer for your detailing business, whether you're already started or you haven't started yet, make sure to grab your spot. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video.